What is up everybody, Sven Diesel here. We're gonna go ahead and show you how to make your own marabou dubbing brush. Uh, this is uh, something I use for a lot of my streamers, particularly my leech patterns. I currently usually use some uh, product from Snake River Fly, their zero gravity dubbing, but this allows me to have my own customization making my own on this dubbing brush table. So a few tools I use for this is the multi-clamp by Swiss CDC. I've got my medium stainless steel wire, 0 0.006, my GoFly scissors, some Fish Hunter uh, Marabou by Nature Spirit, and Polar Chenille, or Polar Flash, I apologize, in just gold, I believe. So those are the materials you're gonna need. It kinda helps you out a little bit. Uh, this is a dubbing brush table from Fly Fish Food. I believe it's their 2.0 version. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is take my stainless steel wire and kind of thread it through this eyelet and then hold those two wires together as I drill. It kind of solidifies them and moves them together. I'll measure out the length and kind of drop my bobbin here to keep weight on it. So this is where this process gets a little bit uh, tedious. Uh, I'm gonna take about four to six feathers uh, marabou feathers here. It uh, really depends on how thick you want to do it, but I've played around with it enough that we, you know, it's about four to six. So I really like this color here. And so here's the little trick I've been doing. I'm going to take my multi uh, clamp here, shove it up the quill so that it's right next to the stem. And then I'll come in here and just trim that marabou. Um, so that the stem is of course trimmed off and then it perfectly lines up those fibers I'll place it now you can see it's a little bit more dense to the one side and lighter to the other and so I'll come in here with my multi clamp tool and I will go ahead and do the same process trim those fibers out and then of course leaving discarding the the stem and I'll kind of overlap that thick part so that it, it forms a uniform I mean you can really see it with the color there how it is a definitely thicker red or burgundy in the one spot and then towards the end it kind of tapers off which would be the tip of the feather and so you kind of just have to play around with it on how thick you want to do your brushes but I'm overlapping this and you can see by using this multi-clamp tool it really lines up the base of these really nice slides them out really nice it makes it a little bit easier however this does take about four times longer than just grabbing the already prepared marabou with flash out of the bag from snake river flies so that's why this is a little bit more tedious takes a little bit more time but it does allow a little bit more customization allows for a little bit more fun a little bit more DIY. so as you can see i like it to be a little bit thicker so i'm going to add a little bit more here in the middle the sky's the limit on how much you want to spread this out and space it out you can see my bases aren't completely aligned the tips are pretty good aligned and now I'm going to do is take this uh, polar flash I'm going to take out a good chunk of uh, I don't know 20 to 25 fibers here and we'll just trim that out of the pack and then we're going to trim them by folding it in half and then I'll fold it in half again so that we we're not too much longer than the you know the, the marabou fibers you can do however long you want. That's the joy of customization and doing it yourself. And I'll just discard those uh, right there beneath. And so a little trick to doing this is I'm gonna pull out about mm, six to seven to 10 fibers. And then as I lay it down, I kind of twist it in my finger. Now the tip is aligned where the tip would be, but the base, which is going where the wire is, you can see is kind of spread out. So by twisting it in my finger, it, it, it keeps the where I'm pinching it aligned, but spreads it out where the wire is going to be. And that's all that matters because where the wires are going to connect is the core. And so as we spin that out, these will be pretty, a little bit more even looking than they look now. So that's a little trick I do for doing these, but to each is your own. I'll go ahead and cut my pre-measured uh, return end. And then the key is always when doing your dubbing brushes, don't release that tension so that the wire pops up and disorients everything. I'm going to use a little bit of the low tack wax here from Jay Stockard and I'll not lay it on the fibers yet, but I'll fish it through, keeping it straight above where it's going to end up. And then I'll pull it tight as I lay it down, keeping tension with that tag in, checking to make sure that everything looks how I want it to look. And then we will, let's get to spinning. So 
keep pressure on that tag in. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a spin here to secure that uh, return in. Once that's secure, you can either snip it out or just let it to continue to wrap. Now, you wanna kinda of drop your table a little bit as you start to spin, otherwise it will clump up and require more brushing. You can see I'm just slightly lowering it. If you lower it too much, the end could potentially fall out where we're getting to now. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust those fibers a little bit right there. And now you just gotta spin it. Let it spin, spin, spin until you watch the drill. As you can see, I'm keeping tension away from the board, but it's walking in. That's because the wire's getting tighter. And so that's a natural occurrence. I'll raise the table up. And then what I'm gonna do is I just have a stainless steel uh, toothbrush here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, help with the board supporting that, brush this out, look for any really large clumps. And as I'm brushing down this, I'm kind of inspecting it to make sure that it's a good even consistency. That, that really helps when you're uh, gonna be tying flies down the road. That way you know each fly is gonna take, you know, three to four wraps, not three to eight wraps or maybe one wrap and you're done. So consistency on these helps, but that doesn't need to be perfect in my opinion. Um, I've had a lot of fun and I think sometimes the less consistent they are, the better they fish, but you just gotta be a little bit mindful when you're tying them. As always, after I brush out some of those fibers, I give it a few more twists just to create a little bit stronger bond since we brushed out some of those fibers. And there you can see is a custom marabou brush. Uh, we used uh, Polar Flash, uh, the marabou of our choice. It takes a little bit longer than just pulling the pre-made uh, marabou dubbing blend out of a pack. And to be honest, I'll keep buying it because it really saves a lot of time and is not as messy. But um, that was a little bit of a fun process, uh, seeing that we could create a custom color blend without uh, just having to buy the 12 or so colors offered. So here are all the tools we used again. Pretty simple if you got a dubbing brush. Uh, if you don't, there's a lot of DIYs you can do out there, but uh, the end result is what we like. And uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully, if you have any questions, just click below and uh, leave a comment.